Hello, my awesome subscribers. It's Blender Helix Awesome. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of uh, simple alpha texturing. I'm just not going to go uh, into it. Maybe later on I'll do a tutorial on how to make a full tree. But I'm basically just going to tell you right now how to do alpha texturing. Really simple in Blender. And um, then we're going to go uh, into Unity and try to put that in there. I don't know if I'll be able to get that far, but we will. So. Go to Google, type in leaves and branches. It'll take you to this uh, website. Um, click on the thing that says leaves and branches. It should be burningwell.org or something like that. Pick a thing that you want. I'm going to go with this one. Right click, save in the jazz. Save that right on up to your desktop. I actually already have it saved, so it's probably going to ask me to. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, and then go to blah, blah, blender. And then uh, spacebar, add. Mesh plane, and no, I'm actually doing that with my mouth. I'm not, so I go plane. Okay, go into edited it mode, and then right click up here, split your screen, go into UV image editor. I hate this laptop, anyway. Open up your image. Ah. It takes so long. Okay, open image. We go to this image, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so go to texture mode, click U, unwrap, it should already have the, already have the leaf on there. What we're going to do is just press G to grab on the X axis and then X for the X axis. Drag this over here so we can center it. So now our leaves in the center. Tab to go back to object mode. I'm going to zoom in so I can see. Um, we're actually going to go back to edit mode, so hit tab again. And then go to this dotted square um, tab. It should say editing. I'm pretty, yeah, editing, or hit F9 to go there. And then click texture face. Make sure you're on edit mode or it won't say texture face. And then hit click clip alpha and then as you can see we've already made it an alpha texture go back into edit mode and you have a really nice looking leaf that's cut out and uh, but if we rotate around here you can see that you can't see it because it's only one normal it's a plane with uh, no normals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into blend blender and then go back to texture face in edit mode of course and click this awesome button called two side so once we do that we go back into object mode and make sure that worked fine and we're gonna rot and you rotate around uh... and it should be two-sided now so just as soon as my computer stops being a retard okay so it works fine we are going to pack that texture by clicking this little uh, present button and uh, just so you guys know what that is it basically saves the image along with the blender file that way if you import it into other programs um, such as Maya or Unity or uh, Torque or uh, UDK it will um, it'll import it along with it so what we're gonna do is file save as just save it as a normal blender file I'm just going to save it as un untitled because I don't feel like typing because I'm lazy. Exit out of that. And now here is the fun part. You may want to skip a few seconds because it takes Unity forever to load up on this computer. So I'm going to go into Unity. So guys, I was thinking about... Um, if you don't want to hear me talk, then just skip a few seconds. I'll probably put an annotation up or something. But um, 
I was thinking about doing a Let's Play series, and, uh, you know, probably a 40 or 50 part Let's Play series. If you guys can think of a free game um, on the computer that I can screen record and do a Let's Play of that you guys would like to see, I would love to do that for you guys. Should be really fun. I could even have uh, guest stars on there um, to be with me. Uh, on Skype, that'd be really cool. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any cool ideas, um, please leave a comment below, and I would really, really like to hear that. Looks like Unity is just about finished, about opening up. And also comment on telling me how this video quality turned out, because uh, I know that half the time it's really good quality and half the time it's really bad quality, so really interested to see what you guys think about that. Ah, still waiting on Unity. And here we go. <clears throat> still being slow. Come on, Unity. You got this. Alright, here is a town I was working on for... Um, a muni. Comment if you like it. It's gonna be the new cog town. Little sneak peek of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select everything and just delete all of it. That way we have a blank slate. So what I'm gonna do is go to my desktop, highlight the texture and the blend file. The texture and the blend file, not just the blend file. If you don't have the texture anymore, go into your blend file, save as, and I'm just going to drop, or I'm going to drag this over this so to open up Unity, and just drag it anywhere you want in your project folder. That's the one on the right, and it should hurry up and import that. And then what we're going to do is find Untitled because that's what I named it. That's the blend file. Go to Untitled. You just drag that up on your scene and it should be textured but it's not an alpha texture so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the alpha texture which I'm pretty sure it was named leaf so we're gonna try to find that go to that remember you're you're navigating to the texture this time that's why you imported both and we're going to let's see if I'm doing this right Yeah. Ah. Ah. All right. All right. So, if I did this right, we are going to go into this. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, that's because it's not that's not the texture I used. This is the texture I used, because I saved it twice. Here we go. So what you want to do is go into your hierarchy and uh, click this little arrow down and click plane. And it's going to bring up this and it's going to bring up everything that yours is textured with. It's, it should be under defuse. You don't want that. Click that. It's going to bring open a list of shaders for you. You're going to select, not that, you're going to select uh, nature, soft occlusion leaves. So it should already be um, see-through and double-sided, which is great. Where everything's working perfectly. And um, but it is pretty dark. So what we're gonna do is 
put all of these last three up. It's mainly dark because of the because of there is no light in the um, scene. So I'm gonna add a small light. And as you can see, it's pretty good. So we're gonna select our object again, and I see that there's a little bit of white. So we're gonna so we're gonna drag up the alpha cutoff, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it just below the maximum, and um, yeah, guys. So that's how you make an alpha texture and import it in Unity. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, by rate, I mean double click the like button. And I'd really like to see what you guys have to say about this video and what I've been doing. And uh, do you like the videos that I do that aren't tutorials? Anyway, you guys have a good day, okay?